Hello everybody, this is Danny S. Hodges. What I'm doing here is I got to rebuild my jig that I make antennas with. Now, I've made a, a mini of antenna with this jig right here. And uh, I'll show you how it works, see if you had not seen it. See, you, you take your take top off and you put your, you put your backbone piece in there and slide it all the way to the front. And uh, th see, this is done been doing. This is my pattern right here. That what I'm going to tighten everything up. But anyway, you would normally put a, a blank piece in here without these. And then you put this on. And then you, you drop your little white pieces that your whiskers goes on. And what this does is it just makes the antenna perfect every time. Because, see, I'm fitting to be putting this antenna on eBay. And, uh, but anyway, I, well, let me show you. Now, here it is. I got it out here. And see, this one right here, this one's tight. And this one's tight. But see, this crack in this one right here looks like it's about an eighth of an inch. It ain't as bad as, it ain't. It ain't that bad, but it needs to be where it sits in there perfect. And this one's got just a little bit of a crack. If I could, if I could, when I was making them, if I could remember to, to put these two forward every time, I wouldn't have to do this, but I need to be where it's made perfect every time. So I'm going to tighten these two spots up. I'm going to tell you what I've been up to for the last two days. Now, those of you that follow me know that I've got some of these new pieces right here. And uh, this right here, the when I went to got them, the man told me that this stuff's lifetime guaranteed. This vinyl right here is lifetime guaranteed. I didn't know it was that good. But I knew it was good stuff, but I didn't know it was that good. Okay, now see, this one right here is a half a piece. I don't know if I said it, but I spent 10 or 12 hours studying this right here. This is a half, this is a full. I spent two days checking which one of these picked up the best. And that brings me to a story. Y'all know who Darryl Waldrop is. I was watching him one time. You know, he used to just win, win, win. A long time ago. And he said, you know, he said, I don't know what happened. But he, he got to where he wasn't winning like the way he was. He said, I got more money than I ever had. He said, I got the best car I ever had. He's got the best of everything he's ever had. But he can't seem to... Win no more. You know, I'm talking about years ago. And this is something you can remember. You know, I figured out the distance to put this right here a long, long time ago. But I went up there and rechecked it 10 or 12 hours. 10 or 12 hours. I, <laughs> I, trust me. I went up there by myself one day. And they even uh, brought it home from the church land and went out here and done it in the front yard. And I could never get satisfied about one of them without do the other. And, and, you know, you're talking about pretty close. A lot of people might not even worry about, worry about it. But anyway, I finally draw the conclusion. But it took me that 10 or 12 hours to come to that conclusion. Well, let me let me show you this right here. Now, here's where I was set up out here in the yard. You know, the uh, day before yesterday, I was up there at the church. And I finally come home and got this out of my back room right here. I know some of you might not be seeing it. I'll show it to you. See this? This is how I first found out about the distance 
that this needs to be. This is how I first found out. But I went back and relearned kind of, I guess, what I already knew. And this right here is, I put this on there, like kind of the last thing I done. And this was the first day of testing. I put this on here, kind of the last thing I done. And I waited until the, uh, you know, the atmosphere was calm, like it, like five or six in the evening. And I got out here figuring that out. You know, you don't, you don't get lazy and you don't understand why and I myself don't think there's no such thing as luck. See, right there, that way right there, 60 miles. But even after I done this right here, I still went up to the church the next day, which was yesterday, and stayed up there six or seven more hours. I stayed till almost the dark. And y'all know, I done been thinking all about it, you know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not a fast thinker, but I've been thinking all about it. I know some of you have a hard time finding this right here. I think I might put this also on eBay like you can buy a piece. Uh, buy a piece of this and, you know, and I use two of these for the reflector. And then here's the pieces that I use for the, uh, you know, that the whiskers go to. I figure I might put these on there too. Like if you want to buy some of these. And enough to make one antenna. You know, I mean, kind of like a kit. You know, you could do the wire thing or, or whatever. And also, like uh, maybe uh, put transformers on there, you know. And jumpers. And see, and see, here's an antenna that I got right here. I took it off the truck but because I keep one ready all the time. And this, this is something that, and this is something I had told y'all, and I ain't started doing it. But, boys, I about think I need to start doing it. Taking your, your booster box and putting it down the pole, way down the pole. Like to where you ain't got to lay the antenna down if you need to swap the booster out. Because they go out. The booster goes out every now and then. You know, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's lightning. I don't know what it is. Some people some people never have no trouble, but every once in a while a booster will go out. And it's well, I tell you this. It seems like every one that that it goes out on me with is one I've put on top of somebody's house with guide wires. And man, then I'm going back by myself and laying that rascal down and putting the booster up, putting another one on there and standing it back up. But I mean, I got a way that I can do it that makes it where I can do it by myself. But it still ain't very much fun for an old man. But if you if you done one, you take this, this pole's, I reckon, 20 foot. This is a, you put this part of the booster down there at 6 foot high. And I reckon put it high enough that, like, youngers won't be playing Tarzan on it. But have it down there where it ain't a pain in the butt. Because if you got, if I've seen boosters last 20 years. I mean, I wasn't doing it then. Don't get me wrong, I, wa I wasn't. But I've went to people's house, and their booster was still working from 20 years ago. They don't even, they didn't even look like this. They was a channel master, but they didn't even look like this right here. <laughs> and I reckon I might have just forgot what I see man. But anyway, I make some jumpers. Like, you don't want more coax than what you need. And I figured I might make some jumpers that'll be the right amount and and make some have some shorter jumpers because i can make them real cheap you know and you could just add them to your cart and when you're doing it you know like have some different link coaxes and stuff like that hey just something i'm throwing up in there 
I, you know, and I really hate real bad that, that man, people wants this. Yeah, y'all know, y'all, the people that know me know I ain't all about money. It ain't I dislike money. But because I don't even have to do this at all. But I hate not being able to help somebody. I talk to people on the phone all the time. I talked to a quadriplegic the other day. And it seems like I talk to a lot of people like that. That man, I mean, even, let me tell you this. Okay, say my transmission goes out in my little truck. And I'm embarrassed about that truck, by the way. <laughs> but say my transmission goes out in that truck. Now, I know how to take that transmission out get another pressure plate clutch and all that and get the flywheel reground if I need to, whatever. Or, yeah, well, you know what I'm talking about, flywheel. But I just don't want to do it. I just rather pay somebody. And that's kind of the way this antenna stuff is. Yeah, there's some people that wouldn't pay for this for nothing in the world. But then there's some people that could do it that just don't want to fool with it. You know, you got all kinds. There's that gray hooven, that very first one I built, the one that's, the one you see on YouTube is the first one I built. And you know, I built Curtis one. If you've been following me, you know it. I built Curtis one. That son of a gun hooked it to the, he, you know, he's one of them inventive mind people. He took a mobile radio in the house, and he run coax from this to that mobile radio. And uh, he told me he's picking up stations in Jacksonville, Florida. And you know we live right right here in uh kind of middle Georgia. I mean it's I reckon Macon's might be middle Georgia, but we about fifty miles below that. But he was telling me he was taking that thing and turning it. Picking up radio stations, man, like, all get out. I think I might try that. I I got I got a radio I could hook it to. I I know how to do it, but I might do that one day. I've been doubling up on my stock because, see, I don't know how. I don't know how this is going to go, you know. But the, peop the people that really want one that can't come and get one, they'll have uh, they'll have a way they can get one. They'll have that option. I haven't got all the details worked out, but I will get them all worked out. It's kind of waiting on boxes to come in right now. Do y'all remember that I used to put one of these in the middle of the antenna and put the, uh, to put the transformer on? And you know, I I eliminated this piece and started just soldering the, the transformer to the wires. So see, I got that capped off. I don't know why I capped that off. I didn't have to, but for some reason I did. And uh, I'm making these a little bit shorter. You know, most of the one I've ever told you how to make was two and a quarter. But these are two inches. And you got to be real careful about your measurement. It don't matter if you make them three inches. You got, but you got to be careful about your measurement because it puts you close to your center screw. So you kind of mind, got to mind that because the screws can't be touching one another. And this stuff's kind of hard. It's really kind of hard lining it up. If I got this screw a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, it's liable to be touching. These are these screws are measured. And I, when I, when I go to like start making these, I'll probably make like a hundred of these. And I've been thinking about it, and I actually got to do more. I got actually got to do more than this. I'll show you that too. But I think I might just cut this, and I think I might just cut this in half and slip it up, and this in too, and then put a board over a plate on top of it, just like the way this right here is. I'm gonna show you the other thing I got to do. Now take a look at this. See that space right there? Y'all know what that is. See, it ain't as bad as it looks. This side right here is kind of tight. 
or, or snow, and then this side's kind of loose. But when I, when I shorten these pieces right here up to uh, two inches, let me show you. See the sides right here? When I shorten them up to two inches, when I shorten them up to two inches, that means, that means you actually could put this over this way and put this one over this way. Now this has been done real careful. But look at this, I, I found these paint paddles. And see, I also got to do this too. Where like, where, where this will tighten this up to where it'll sit in there perfect every time. And that's what I'm doing out here today. That's what I'm fitting to do is, is tighten that up to where, to where every time I make one, it'll be perfect every time. It's hard to get homemade stuff perfect. But you want to make it as perfect as what you can. Okay, here's the piece. I just cut this off here. Here's the piece that I took to, like, separate. And I'm going to put a piece right here over top of it. And while I, I want to straighten something up with y'all. I told y'all that people asked me which is better, the ultimate antenna or the gray hoofman. And I said I didn't ever answer. I want to explain why I said I, I don't never answer. I've got a video about the two. And you might just want to watch the video instead of me sitting there saying, yep, that's it right there. That's the winner right there. And that's why I said I don't never answer. It, it wasn't because I was being that way. I just wanted to let you all know. I got a bunch of these right here. I got one for about every situation. These things right here is real good. And y'all, I want to tell you, this ain't a bad life out here. Here's the second one. This ain't a bad life to get out here, fool around, let your wife, you know, let her get in there and let her breathe. You get outside, and you do some stuff and have a good time. And, hey, here's the nails that go in that right there. Look at that. You know, that won't split a piece of wood, and it's, it's just so easy with it, you know? Now, I got something I want to tell you, something Curtis told me about. Curtis said, man, why don't you sell these antennas online? And, uh, you know, I had told you that the shipping was real high. Curtis, I told Curtis, the woman told me $120. Curtis said, you know how he, Curtis talked, he said, they ain't no way. That's right. So, Curtis checked into it and got to checking. Anyway, see, it ain't, uh, the shipping's cheap. And I said, why did that woman tell me $120? And we called them up and asked them that $120. I went in there and said, how much is it to ship this antenna? She told me $120. And I found out a year or two years later that she gave me an overnight price. I'm talking about has done all the damage she's done. And I didn't ask her for no overnight price. She gave me an overnight price. And I just was thinking the whole time that's what the price was. You know, hadn't it been for Curtis, I mean, I wouldn't even know. You know, you want it where you can get it in and out. You don't want to put it in there so tight that you, that you can't mess with it. Boy, when that glue dries, you won't even need them nails. You know, Curtis was talking to me. He said, he said, man, they, they people selling mattresses on eBay. He said, anyway, the more he talked, I mean, I knew what the woman told me, but the more he talked, the more sense he made. And I went and looked at a K2 
TV that was the size of this antenna. And the TV was cheaper than what that woman had told me the shipping was. So I got that straight, and that's the reason I'm going forward. I think I might go ahead and nail the back. This part, uh-uh. Hey, boy, what's that? This one's got one of them that ain't got a trigger, I reckon. You just seen it. I've never hardly used this gun. Hey, and that's got it's got that fixed. Now I got to put my side pieces in here so this will stay center right here. Now, I was kind of taking a break, and you know I told you I was checking all that. Now, you know checking the thickness of this, and you know that that measurement that I come up with years ago. That right there. That's three-quarter pipe, but that is a just about one inch on the outside. So, see, I come back up with the same figure that what I had done years ago. Now, I'll show you something here, too. I forgot to tell you all about it. See that wiggle right there? I got to get that out. That's the whole piece wiggling. It's kind of hard to cut this stuff. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to cut it like precision with hand saws and stuff like that. But anyway, I got to get that right there out. Now, see, the back of this right here is tight back there. It's just loose right here. See that loose? So I got what I got is two sticks right here that I got to glue in on both sides. And I told them, which might be kind of hard to do, we're going to see. I told them, I said... Why come nobody ain't helped me figure out the shipping wasn't $120? I said, can you ever help me sometimes? But see, y'all, we just don't know. We just don't know. We ain't never shipped nothing. I'm thinking maybe I can put this in here. Maybe I won't have to nail it. I might can just uh, put it in here and, and then put a piece in. And maybe it'll hold it tight enough. I done glued the inside there. I'll tell you what, I might ought to try to put like at least two nails in there. I'll put one and see how it looks. See if it acts like, see it's such a bad angle. That's a bad angle to be trying to nail. And I do feel the nail sticking up a little bit. I'm going to have to sand that down. But it's, but it's going in and holding it, though. I just had to sand it. That one ain't sticking up, but the rest of them, they sticking up just a little bit. I, well, I'll stick it in there. I'll stick it in there. Well, look at that now. Hear that? That's that nail. Hear that nail? I got I got seeing that. I want to tell y'all about testing them antennas. You know, you don't walk out there and in five minutes you're loading your stuff back up in the truck. Man, you do it over and over and over because the conditions is changing. And you have to be 
You have to be convinced. You have to be convinced that of what you know. I mean, you don't want to think. You don't want to think. You want to know without a shadow of a doubt. I seen, I seen on Facebook the other day a picture of somebody sitting beside the stove in front of the oven with the door open. And you know what they's doing. No, well, we all done it. Heating your house up. And it had in right and never forget where you come from. And boy, you know, we all been there, you know. I went in there and text Curtis and told him to ride over. Man, he, he's, a, he's a pretty fun guy. And y'all remember a while ago I said I got to put some pieces in here so so it'll stay center. So now I got to do that. So see, I'm marking this out right where it goes because I'm just going to put it in the spot where uh, these pieces right here are. Because if I didn't, i tell you why. Because, see, I would have to trim all these. Uh, because it's too wide. So I'm going to just uh, put them in the spot where they, where the pieces are. i tell you what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about just gluing them all in, and uh, like just let them sit there, and then cut the tops off tomorrow after the glue dries. Might be the best thing to do. You see, I got this cut out right here where I can grab them, grab. But I don't know. I'm gonna think about it here a minute. I'm marking the board here where. I know where they go. I, I thought of something to tell y'all. It didn't take me long to think. <laughs> you know, I told y'all I was a member of some kind of a little Facebook antenna club. And, and, uh, there's sharks in there. And what I mean by sharks, there's people in that club group that ain't who they say they are. They work for somebody. <laughs> you know, they in there, and they're pretty slick about what they're doing. I mean, I, you know, I really don't think everybody knows what they are. But they in there posting pictures of kind of their brand, you know, their company. And them, them people, the reason I know, the re what helped me figure out they were sharks is because they kind of a little cut me down. So, you know, most of us ain't paying nothing that much of attention, but these folks is kind of, they're kind of slanging a little bit against me because I don't get in there and say nothing, but every now and then I'll put a little clip in there of some antenna stuff. But, uh, and, and some of them people is watching right here with you. You know, right now. And they one guy in there. Well, there's more than one. You ever seen the kind that, that knows everything? Somebody asked a simple question. He's he's beating the door down. <laughs> he's beating the door down to answer the question. And Nobody, you know, you know, a lot of times, nobody else even hardly comments because, you know, I don't really know. You know, just because you say you know a lot don't mean you know a lot. I really, I really don't think he knows a lot about, you know, you, you can read a book about hunting and know a lot. 
But it ain't the same as getting out there doing it, boy. You know, what I got to do now is I got to put this on and make sure all this is... Make sure all this will, will fit. Get tired of this stuff sometimes. So I checked them all. I know it's gonna work. I'll go ahead and glue them, and then I'll uh, put my lid back on and make sure that everything's lined up good. I wanted to make some of that stuff that people's got in there. You know, most people's. Most of the sharks is pushing, you know, they pushing a certain antenna. But then some of the ordinary people, I want to make some of their stuff and, and test it. Boys, I just, I got my hands full, you know. There was one of them guys in there. I, I, he had sent me a friend request, you know, on Facebook. And y'all can too, by the way. But I pretty much can look at something and tell if it's a fake profile. And uh, I seen I seen the guy in there typing, you know, texting on that in that group. And this is what really made me know, you know, that that he was uh what he was, what this particular one was. He hadn't put nothing on his profile on Facebook in years. He was just strictly in that antenna group. That's what he was. And, you know, that antenna group I'm talking about, it's liable to belong to an antenna company. I mean, you know, you don't know. You know, a matter of fact, I was thinking about making a, a antenna Facebook group and let y'all share your stuff on there because, you know, y'all can help one another out. And then some of y'all that watch me that, Knows a lot about it, y'all. Hey, y'all can answer questions and help them and stuff. I, I don't have time to mess with it too much, but y'all can get in there and help the, help everybody get up to speed. Cause I know some of y'all man know your stuff, you know. You know, I got to put the top back on this, and this is a piece of foam. I got some, some water on it. And I'm going to have to set my piece back down in there. So I'm putting a little water where this glue is so it don't glue my, my uh, backbone in there. I'll leave it in here probably about an hour, and then I'll probably take that out and let it sit overnight. Well, I mean, I, mean, I know I'm going to let it sit overnight, but I'll probably take this out in about an hour. I'm going to put it in there and make sure it's going to line up. I'm about to wrap up, y'all. And I should have that, that ultimate antenna on eBay here in about a week. Waiting on my boxes to come in. All right, I'm going to put my lid on there. Make sure that that's going to be good to go. I might, I might have to trim one or something. I mean, you don't never know, you know. All right, I'm going to put some of these in to hold it while it's drying. Every one of them don't need one. But some of them do and some of them don't. And when, when I done it, I might have not made it. I might have not put them on the antenna just perfect whenever I done it. But this will make them where they are uh, perfect. If they ain't, if, if this backbone I made, if this ain't exactly perfect, it will be, I might need to put two there. It will be, I got to put two on that.
I'll have my stuff set up a little better where, where I'll be making everything like pretty well. Pretty well about as perfect as you can get it. I'm going to finish putting these in here. want to tell you how I appreciate y'all. Uh, like, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.